um, I think yesterday when the presidential candidate of APC was uh, speaking to um, a body called the Federation of Construction uh, Industry in Nigeria. Um, he, he had vowed and pledged um, to develop what was referred to as life-changing infrastructure. Now, of course, you know, that would be following the theme, if you like, of uh, President Muhammadu Buhari, who, whatever anybody else says, um, his credentials as far as infrastructural development uh, throughout his uh, tenure cannot be denied. Now, Tinumbu is saying that life-changing infrastructure is what uh, Tinumbu Shetima administration uh, would bring to bear. Could you co comment a bit on this? We have Lagos as an example. We cannot run away from the stewardship of Bola Ahmed Tinubu, uh, in Lagos, uh, when he makes those kinds of promises, what I ask Nigerians and urge Nigerians uh, to examine and interrogate is his stewardship of Lagos. If he says he's going to bring life-changing infrastructures into the Nigerian uh, state, then let us look at what he has done in Lagos. Is it true that he has brought these kinds of things to Lagos? Is it true that we have a co-Atlantic city as a consequence of his defeat of the ocean, ocean surge that, that plagued Lagos for decades? Is it true that he has been able to, to control traffic to a reasonable extent with the establishment of the BRT and last man? Is it true that today in Lagos you can move from one point to the other with, with, in rail? These are some of the infrastructures that are life-changing. And if he was able to do this in Lagos, it, it is no more far-fetched that he can do it at the national level. Now, when people come to us and promise heaven on earth, the question that we must ask them is that because you have intervened or interfered in our public life in the past, show us what you did in the past that will give us the, the assurance that will give us the confidence that whatever you have promised us, that you will bring to bear, that you will bring to reality. You see, in the case of Bola Ahmed Tinibu, there is, no, there is no controversy that his stewardship as Lagos State Governor and as the leader of political business in Lagos from 2020, 2007 till today, has wrought development in such a magnitude that today Lagos is the fifth largest economy in Africa. You cannot deny that. And because you cannot deny that, you must support him to do it at the national level. That is what we are saying. We are saying that this, there are about three or four front runners in this election. And they are not new to us. They have been with us. They have been governors, some of them have been ministers, some of them have been, one has been a vice president. So when they come to us and say that they are going to turn Nigeria into El Dorado, we must ask them, we must interrogate their antecedents and ask them what they did when they were in office the last time. So that is why we are very confident we are very we of the, uh, what I would like to call the battalions. We are very confident that Niger what the message of Bola Metinibu will resonate with the people because there is Lagos to see. We see Lagos. Indeed. We and see that Lagos. is exactly what we want him to do in Nigeria, to bring exactly. Lagos to Nigeria. That is all. Exactly. And that's a point that opponents have got to say something. And one of the things they have been saying is that well, yeah, granted, if we have to grant, perhaps they'll even take that reluctantly. But then they come back with, uh, Nigeria is not Lagos. And that is an infinitely uh, uh, naughtier uh, problem. <laughs> How would you respond to such a quote-unquote doubting Thomases that you've done all of that? Well, you, can't you know, what you've you done know in it's Lagos. very funny to me. When we started this journey, the Labour Party people used to go around uh, the nation and say they are doing one million man match. And then 
we, I, be, I, I remember the one that was done by MC Oluomo in Lagos. And they now started saying that, no, it is, your support is not predicated on the number of the people that come to your rallies or come to your one million man mad. Now, it is sophistry, my brother. It is revision. They like to revise history. They, but Nigerians are not fooled. Nigerians are not fooled. Um, Peter Obi was governor of Anambra. He has to bring Anambra to the table. Uh, um, uh, uh, Atiku Abubakar was vice president of Nigeria. He has to bring his stewardship to the table. Uh, so uh, Bola Metinibu was governor of Lagos State. He, he must bring his stewardship of Lagos to the table. They're not running away from the fact. Those who make those kinds of statements are just clever by half. They have absolutely nothing to offer. You know, in my place they say that if a woman has nothing to tell the husband, she will just tell the husband that water has got stuck in her teeth. So I am not bothered about the kinds of things that they do. They, the people know the truth. The people know the truth. And on the 25th of February, the people will speak the truth with their ballots. It, it does not matter what uh, the revision is that the opposition would like for us to believe. Lagos is there for all of us to see. Indeed. So uh, okay. I, I have no, I have very little to say to people who, who, who would like us to believe that um, uh, uh, Lagos is non-existent. Lagos is there. We cannot. No, no, no that's saying it. Lagos is not existent. You're just saying that uh, Lagos is not Nigeria, uh, implying that it's a much, much more uh, difficult uh, task uh, than running. Uh, they, the way they would see it, it's just little one over thirty-six. Uh, Lagos, uh, you know, there's no, the but my brother, that, uh, if they say that Lagos, if they say that Lagos, Lagos is um, uh, uh, smaller than mm. than Nigeria, then what would they say about Danambra? <laughs> I mean, it, it, it beggars belief when people push that kind of narrative. It, it doesn't make any sense at all. Anyone who can to pretend and succeed the way Bola Ahmed Tinubu has succeeded in Lagos can very well preside over Nigeria and make a miraculous transformation of Nigeria. Let me tell you, there are so many things that was established by Bola Ahmed Tinubu that has gained traction across the nation. Let us look at Loma, last man. Now, people may change the nomenclature, change the names of these organizations, but it was only when Bola Ahmed Tinibu created this thing in Lagos that they have now taken it to their various states. That's right. So, That's right. So if it is possible for him to have created those numerous things and the entire country is copying it, let me even tell you, the federal government had to go to Lagos to learn of what Bola Metinibu did in the justice system, the reformation that he wrote on the justice system. That is what is helping the Nigerian jurisprudence today. An honor and must be given to him by recognizing that he is the one that has brought these things to reality in Nigeria and that the people of Nigeria must have him do these things at the national scale. That is I'm our reminded, position. Uh... I, I'm reminded of Tubom about you know the expression imitation is the best form of flattery. Uh, so the the copy you know they have no they're not shy to adopt the policies that uh, you know he instituted and that are successful. Uh, but still in a political season they've got to say something. Uh